Hello everyone, how are you all doing? Finally, Apple released the iOS 15 update to the public. And in this video, we are going to talk about what's new in this update and is it worth installing this update on your device. Also, we are going to talk about which devices are supported and is your device ready to install iOS 15 because we need to do some things and sort some things out before updating our iPhones. Let's get right into today's video. My name is Jay, you are watching Tech Hype. Now let's get right into today's video without wasting any more time. So Apple released iOS 15 today and if you want to update your device, what you have to do, just go into settings, then you have to scroll down, click on general, then you will see software update, click on that, then you will have iOS 15 most probably. If you don't, just repeat that process, close the settings app and then do it again. It will appear eventually because it sometimes what happen is that apple servers went down and it do not show the update immediately you have to try again and again in order to get the update now talking about the ios 15 new features first of all we are going to start with the focus well apple released this update with a really great feature for people uh, like 90 percent of the people who are busy in their life and uh, think that using their phone the screen on time they are wasting their time using their phone so what this thing is focus is basically t and d on steroids what do i mean by that on focus this focus is basically d and d but it's much better and uh, how to enable it how to use it let me show you guys here first of all you have to go into settings then scroll down a little bit and you can see focus then click on focus after clicking on focus you will have this kind of settings and uh, options you have to do all this that i'm doing in this video to enable and use focus to its full potential focus is really neat and great great feature that i really enjoy it is like one of my favorite feature on ios 15 i would recommend you guys turning this feature on whenever you are in office home or wherever you are it just feels really great and it is more of like a user profile that we have been waiting to come on ios for years now in facetime we also have two new neat features which are by far my most favorite feature after focus it is video effects and mic modes so what these features do is right now like you can see it sometimes bugs out but most of the time this works and uh, as it is out for public now most probably the version you guys will be installing on your device will be much more stable than mine so in the mic modes what three three of these things do is standard it is just your normal standard mode and then voice isolation it is more of like a noise reduction and and it will focus on your voice which is really really neat feature i am pretty sure a lot of android users right now in the comments below are jealous of this feature i know you guys won't say but it, it is a feature that you guys don't have and it is really really good i know there are ways to get these things on android but man the way it works on ios is just amazing and it is a such a good amazing software feature i have been using ios 15 and and these effects on my iPhone for quite a while now all of these features I have been using for about months now and uh, since Apple released the beta 1 of iOS 15 I have been using since then and I just love these features they work so great they are so damn seamless while switching the portrait mode is so good the focus mode is also really really good I really like the focus mode except for that we also have another feature which for those people using apple watch will appreciate a lot and not even apple watch if you have any sort of apple product like a mac or running apple uh, mac os monterey what you can do is just click on the dnd button on your apple watch or whichever iphone ipad and it will turn on focus slash dnd on all of your devices isn't that a really neat and good feature 
also we have private relay on the ios 15 what this does is let me show you guys after clicking on it so this is basically a vpn built in your iphone private relay is included with your icloud plus subscription which is 75 rupees for 50 gb storage and as you can see here for people living in india i don't really have icloud plus and uh, never used private relay as of yet but some of my friends are using this private relay feature and they said it is a really great feature and they love it some of them have even went ahead and cancelled their vpn subscription it is really great i really like this feature on ios 15 we also have a new wallpaper as you can see the light mode version of this wallpaper is really darn amazing i wish apple should give us option like we have on the mac to keep the wallpaper in light mode and the phone in dark mode or vice versa i don't really like that apple have been limiting us in this department but maybe fingers crossed i wish apple should do it in the future and let's hope for the best will battery life have been pretty okay ish on ios 15 i won't say it is really darn amazing or really bad it is decent it is okay ish on this firmware but yes it should be improved in future updates you won't really be disappointed because the firmware we have been coming from the ios 14.6 7 were really bad in terms of battery life and this is about the same as those ios versions so i don't think so you guys will have any problem related to that now talking about all of these devices supporting ios 15 so if you have iphone 6s slash iphone se gen 1 iphone se gen 1 and iphone 6s from that device to the iphone 13 slash 13 pro max all of these devices are supported to get the ios 15 update oh wait iphone 13 does come out of the box with ios 15 what am i saying anyways these are the iphones basically all the iphones which ran ios 14 will get the ios 15 update which is a really great news in my opinion especially for people using iphone 6s 7 and se it is really good news so a bad news is that your device won't really get all the new features like live text which i have not really talked about in this video but live text is basically a tool which is a copy of google lens so what it does is you can just take a picture of uh, suppose a book and uh, after taking the picture you can select the text and copy it in your clipboard iphones using a12 bionic chip and above will get all the latest features which iphone 12 does have all the devices using a 12 bionic chip will have these features but small features like focus mode and all the you guys will have people using iphone 10 or below will have this feature like the focus mode and all but won't really have the live text and all features i guess it requires better neural engine or something but yes your device won't get the live text feature also if i am right your device won't be eligible for that portrait video feature so you may need to upgrade if you want to use that feature now talking about is your device ready for ios 15 and how to know that my device is ready for ios us 15 simple what you have to do is first of all back up your device to the ios 14 because sometimes what happen is if your device enters a boot loop or gets into any problem you at least have a backup because moving from one big os to another big os is a big deal and 99 percent of the times nothing happened to your iphone but still to play the safe game to be in the safe side you should back up your device and i would always recommend you guys to back up your device well that's pretty much it for this video thank you so much for watching this till the end and uh, uh, consider hitting that subscribe button like button and uh, if you enjoyed the video turn on notifications to leave a comment down below thank you so much sorry i just gave you so many commands <laughs> peace out i will meet you all in the very next episode i keep doing on videos related to ios if you did enjoy this you know what to do peace out